Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2009 Nissan Rogue. So here we have the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness and over here we have the Takacha T1 vehicle wiring harness. Now both of them are going to give us the same end result. They're going to give us a four pole flat and the ability to have lights on our trailer. Now both of our kits are going to live inside of our vehicle until we're ready to tow and when we are we can simply drop our lead down we can close our hatch and our wiring will be right here when we're ready to hook up to our trailer. Now the way our wiring harnesses are going to work is we're going to have T connectors that are going to go in between our tail light and our factory harness. And both of our kits are going to use these and they're both going to have converter boxes. Now our converter boxes are going to protect our vehicle against any kind of back feeding or any trouble we might have on the trailer end and keeping it from feeding back to our vehicle. Now one of the nice features of the Takancha is the converter box, if you look at the end of where the wires go in here, you'll see there's kind of a, an epoxy looking material and that's actually a potting material that this box is filled with so all the circuitry is going to be nice and protected and it's going to have a little more durability against vibration. Now the way we're going to mount our converter boxes is each kit is going to come with some double sided foam tape. But the Takancha also is going to have a small tab here with a hole, so if we want to, we can go ahead and zip tie it or take a self-tapping screw and screw it into place. Now the Kurt does have the same mounting material. It does come with a double-sided foam tape, but it doesn't have the potting material or the extra tab for the option to zip tie or screw it to a flat surface. Now the way these are going to install is they're going to install on the inside behind our taillights. Now the Kurt here is going to have a little bit of an advantage because our wires here are connected with just small connectors, whereas the Takancha, we're going to have this large plastic piece that we're going to have to fit behind our panels. Now both kits are going to come with a ground wire that we're going to need to take a self-tapping screw and screw it in some sheet metal, as well as a power wire that we're going to take the extra wire provided in both our kits and we're going to need to run them to our battery. Now since we are running a wire from our converter box to our battery, they're also going to give us a fuse holder and fuses. Now both of our kits are rated at 10 amps a piece. And the nice thing about that is, is that we're not going to overload our taillight circuit because we're going to separately power our converter box and it will be fuse protected as well. One nice thing about the Kurt is they do give you about a foot of extra length of wire on the end of your four pole here. That way when you do install it, you're going to have a little bit more wiggle room where you mount your box. And that way you don't have to worry about if you have enough wire to get your four pole out of your tailgate. One small difference is that the Takancha's dust cap cover is going to be built onto it. Whereas with the Kurt, it is removable and replaceable. Now both of our kits are going to come with all the necessary hardware to get everything in place and all the connectors as well as a few zip ties to get everything secure. So to sum everything up, as far as vehicle protection goes, I think both of these are going to be on par with each other since they both use converter boxes and they both are going to have a fuse protected circuit. Now as far as ease of installation goes, since both of our kits are going to install the same, I think the Kurt is going to take it purely because it doesn't have the larger connectors that we're going to have to fit behind our panels and as well as giving us about an extra foot of four pole wire giving us that little bit of wiggle room where we mount our box. As far as durability goes I think the Takancha is going to take it purely because of the potting material that's in our converter box and it's just going to hold up a little bit better against any kind of vibrations when we're towing. Now as far as ease of use, I think both of these are going to be about equal since they're both going to stay inside the car until we're ready to use it. Then we can just reach in, grab our wire, and drop it down and close our hatch. And that'll finish up the look at the best wiring options for your Nissan Rogue. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.